The Malaysian Airlines Ukraine disaster has fueled calls for tougher EU action on Russia and is focusing the world's attention on President Putin and his cronies. The precise details of those actions are only now emerging, but this is just the latest step in a growing diplomatic campaign. So far, the measures against Russia have been so-called Tier 2 sanctions, focused on wealthy individuals, imposing travel bans and asset freezes on members of President Putin's inner circle. Now Europe and the US are moving towards Tier 3 sanctions, blocking access to European markets for whole sectors of the Russian economy. That means finance, energy, technology and defence. They'll be reviewed after three months. What's being considered today is of a completely different order because it's financial sanctions, banking sanctions, sanctions in the energy sector. Now these are exactly the sort of things that brought Iran to the negotiating table with the international community over its nuclear programme because they were doing such severe damage to the Iranian economy. The Prime Minister has warned that the measures would inflict pain on the city of London, but said that they should be seen in the context of the deaths of nearly 300 passengers on flight MH17. I think people see that it is much more important that London should be recognised around the world as a place that sticks up for what is right and has the courage to say to someone who's been involved in uh, the support of the uh, Ukraine, the Russian uh, separatists in, in, in Ukraine, you know, that's not good enough. And, and I think people will, will think that we're doing the right thing. The issue with sanctions is that if you want them to be truly effective, both sides have to get hurt. There's got to be economic collateral damage. These are BP's latest results. And they say because of their stake in Rosneft, the Russian oil producer, they could be affected if any kind of measures are imposed. And that means a problem for them and indeed a problem for anyone who holds their shares, which means pretty much any UK pension fund. The Ukraine crisis was the topic of a five-way telephone call between world leaders, including the Prime Minister and Barack Obama. It's hard to believe any discussions will have much of an influence on President Putin, however, since his approval rating exceeds 80%. The question is if this current rift between the West and Russia continues and if it continues to take a heavy toll on the Russian economy and it hurts the pockets of ordinary Russians, um, would this support continue? What's clear is that imposing broader sanctions will represent a major departure. Never before has the EU had to impose punishing economic measures on a country which is not just on its doorstep but so important to its economy. Ed Conway, Sky News.